GE are renowned for making some of the most powerful and innovative industrial machinery on the planet. This attracts some of the best mechanical engineers in the world to a career at GE. But behind every machine sits software equally as impressive. Software that connects minds, machines and data. We call this the industrial internet. Smarter machines that can talk to each other and to us, helping them to perform better, faster and safer. So to showcase this, our machines started communicating with the wider world in a way never done before. They started tweeting in a language mutually shared across machines and software engineers. Binary code. They started talking about their daily lives and interacting with other machines in very human ways, like a love affair between a GE locomotive and a wind turbine. But they weren't just interacting with each other, they were also hiding something in their conversations. A coding challenge that was nearly impossible to crack. A challenge that would test even the best coders in the country. Within each image the machines posted as part of their story, a secondary image was hidden within. Not visually, but with code. Using visual cryptography through digital encoding, a single image was broken into indiscernible segments. It was hidden as layers within eight images in the machine's conversations, making it invisible to the human eye. In order to solve the challenge, someone would have to build their own algorithm that extracted significant pixels from ARGB bits, and then using those bytes to compose the original image, it revealed a secret binary URL. Hundreds tried to crack the code, and it took over three weeks, hundreds of hours, and a few clues before one incredible mind eventually did. Do you want to sort of walk us through the, the steps that you followed? What I did initially was look at ones and zeros inside the pictures. That gave me nothing, and so I had the idea that it's not just one image that you consider in isolation, it's all the images together. The output took you to a URL. There's a picture of two guys standing in front of the Christmas tree machine, mm -hmm. and down the bottom there was a URL in binary code which translated to random.com.au. Yeah, then I was at work at about nine o'clock, someone called and said, you know, you're the first person, so it was, it was a pretty good feeling. Andrew is now on his way to GE's Minds and Machines conference in San Francisco to share his brilliance with some of the smartest minds in the world and discover what's next for the industrial internet.